During June, the nights are short and the days are long. In the next segment, I'd like to bring you with me for a special striped bass snorkeling experience, which happened during the afternoon of June 27th. So today you can see I'm not dressed to go fishing, I'm dressed to go snorkeling. I've got my wetsuit on, I've got my snorkel here, my GoPro camera and my flippers. And the idea for this afternoon is to go and observe striped bass in their natural habitat. I'm really excited to share this with you and hopefully the fish are here today. You never know until you get in the water. A little chilly, but not too bad. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to swim out, start looking around these rocks and the weeds, see if there's any bass hiding in them. All right, here we go. What a perfect day. The water is nice and clear. Can't beat it. This is great. I had just begun to swim offshore when suddenly I spotted a motionless striper relaxing amongst the weeds. The bass looked right at me before slowly swimming away. This area is quiet and rarely visited by boats or people. In my opinion, striped bass utilize this spot for rest and relaxation. The fish were now aware of my presence. However, instead of spooking and swimming away, they came closer and began swimming in circles around me. Several of the bass made eye contact with me, and I had a feeling that the fish were more curious than concerned. An interesting thing I've noticed doing this over the past few years is that if I just remain still, the fish will not just come up and investigate me, but oftentimes the entire school will start circling around me, which is really interesting. I don't know why they do that. But if I sneak up on a school and if I spook the school, if they start to get a little nervous, they'll just start circling around me doing 360s. Interesting behavior. I headed further offshore where I encountered a school of striped bass resting in the sunshine. It was a beautiful experience being surrounded by so many fish. Quiet, undeveloped coastlines that are kept in as pristine a state as possible are important for not only striped bass, but also for countless other marine species. Like humans, I feel that all these fish really want is food and a safe place to call home. So in conclusion, it was just another awesome experience. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to go home, take a hot shower, warm up, and get ready for the next adventure, whatever that may be.